Another important example for case two is when you have a radical involved. Let me erase this part of the board. A is not in the domain and you have a radical form. And we have a radical. We're going to try to simplify by rationalizing the numerator and the denominator. So let's take a look at this example. So in this example, I ask you to find the limit of square root of t squared plus 9 minus 3 divided by t to the second power as t goes to 0. So what is the domain here? First of all, the quantity inside the radical is always positive, so we are not worried about radical. We only look at the denominator in this specific function. Domain is equal to all t values such that t squared is not 0, or basically t is not 0. All real values such that t is non-zero. Very good. So again, if you use direct substitution and plug in this value, let us substitute 0 here. We get the limit of square root of 0 squared plus 9 minus 3 divided by 0 squared, which is square root of 9 minus 3 divided by 0 or 3 minus 3 divided by 0, or as you saw before, you have indeterminate form. 0 over 0 cannot be simplified. It is called indeterminate form. So we're going to try to simplify as much as we can. We have a radical. Your job is to rationalize. So we need to find the conjugate of the numerator in this case, since we have a radical We try to find the conjugate. In general, if you have from algebra, if you have square root of a minus square root of b, its conjugate is going to have the exact same expression with opposite sign. The conjugate is square root of a plus square root of Now what are you going to do? You're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the numerator. Now multiply both the numerator numerator and the denominator by the conjugate. Then try to simplify as much as you can. So let me move this up a little bit so I have another space. I have the limit of, I'm going to copy this guy down, the square root of t squared plus 9 minus 3 divided by t squared as t goes to 0. I'm going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate. You have a square root of a minus a number. Its conjugate is going to be the exact same expression with opposite term in between. So you have the square root of t squared plus 9 plus 3 divided by square root of t squared plus 9 plus Three and then simplify. This guy is equal to 
So here you have the exact same terms with the opposite operation in between. It's going to be the limit of. We get t squared plus 9 minus 3 squared, which is 9, divided by and copy down whatever you have down here. t squared times this expression, t squared plus 9 plus 3, as t goes to 0. 9 and negative 9, they cancel out each other. You end up with t squared divided by t squared is basically common factor and cancel out. So we're left with the limits of 1 divided by square root of t squared plus 9 plus 3 as t goes to 0. Now plug in 0 here, get 1 divided by square root of 9 plus 3 or 1 divided by 3 plus 3 or 1 over 6. Perfect. So the limit of this rational expression, including a radical, is 1 divided by 6. We did a lot of algebra here. And if you're wondering how this multiplication ended up being t squared plus 9 minus 9, let me write it down here for you. From algebra, if I start multiplying these two together, I have here for you. So there is no calculus, it's basically algebra. I have square root of t squared plus 9 and minus 3 times square root of t squared plus 9 plus 3. Well, here you can. Uh, just do the distribution for the first term into the second parenthesis and do the distribution for second term into parenthesis. Or you can follow the formula that you know. But here you have square root of t squared plus 9 times square root of t squared plus 9. They are the same thing. So you get rid of the radical. You get rid of t squared plus 9 plus 3 times square root of t squared plus 9 minus 3 times square root of t squared plus 9 and negative 3 plus 3 gives you negative 9. But these two are opposite of each other, so you get rid of these. So you end up with t squared plus 9 minus 9, or just t squared, that you can exactly see the end of here. Okay.